let's say you have a mouse image and you want to overlay this atlas image on top of it. What do you do? The software you're going to need for this is PG or ImageJ, which is free, and Adobe Illustrator, which costs money. First, you take your big color image, which and these are usually pretty big, and then you resize it into a smaller size, turn it into a grayscale picture, and export it in JPEG format. This is what we're going to call the target image in Fiji. Then, our atlas image, which can be either in an Adobe Illustrator file or a PDF, either one works, but Adobe Illustrator files are recommended, and then transfer that into a grayscale format at a smaller size in JPEG format. This is called our moving image in Fiji. And then using these two pictures, we're going this it's going to make this what we like to call the warped atlas image, which is going to be the same size as our target image. Then we're going to resize it to match our original image or our big color image or mouse image. And then we're going to merge the channels and then our process will be complete. Now that we know what we're going to exactly do, let's actually warp an image. First, open Fiji, or image J. Then go to File, Open, and then select your mouse image. Press Open, and it'll take its time and open. Now that our image is open, the first thing we need to do is make it into a smaller size. So go to Image. Most of everything we're going to do in this tutorial is going to be under Image. Go to scale, then set this down to something smaller, like 2500 or 2400. And then set the interpolation to bicubic, and check the box saying filled with background color. And then press OK, and it will now downsize it. Now that it's downsized, you can close out of this. And the next thing we need to do is export, is put this into a grayscale format. So go to image, type, 8-bit, and it's now going to be into a grayscale format. Now this is kind of hard to see, so I want to make it a little bit brighter. For that we go to image, adjust, brightness and contrast. Then in this little menu bar here, count down two sliders, and there will be a slider labeled maximum. Just play around with it until you find something that you like. I like this then press apply. That's now going to be applied. <clears throat> the last thing we need to do is export this in JPEG format. So go to file, save as, JPEG. This is going to be called our target image. Then press save. Now that's ready, you can close out of PG image J temporarily. Then go to Adobe Illustrator. Now, what you need to do here is go to File, Open, and then open your Adobe Illustrator file or your Atlas image. Then press Open. If a problem like this comes up, ignore it, just press Open. Now, there's all these texts and text objects right here. Now, we don't want those on here at the moment because they are going to be warped when we warp this, and we don't want that to happen. So go to Select object, text objects, then just press delete. Now, now we don't also don't want this grid because that's also going to be warped, so we can go to click on the grid, just press delete, delete any stray lines, and it's now ready. Go to file, export, and you need to do export otherwise you cannot do it in JPEG. So we can switch this to JPEG, and this is called our moving image. And be sure to use artboards, otherwise it's going to extract colors and stuff like that that we don't want it to do. Now just press save. And then this options bar is going to come up. In color model, change it from CMYK to grayscale. Then press OK. Once this bar disappears, it will be saved. Now we're almost done with the moving image. We can close out Adobe Illustrator, come back to Fiji, then open up that file. Open, moving image, press open. Now that's up here. Now what we need to do here is invert this. So go to Edit, Invert. And this is now ready. 
all we need to do now is go to file save as jpeg and this is we can call a moving image final and then press save now you can close out of this now what we need to do is warp those, both of those images together so go to plugins big data viewer and then on the side there will be an option called big warp press that now to, on our moving image select the moving image and then select our target image and target image and then press OK and then wait for it to pop up now you will see this little bar here you can just put that aside for now and below that bar there will be two smaller windows just open those up make them a little bigger so they're easier to see and now what you need to do to start the warp is press spacebar and this option thing will come up saying landmark mode on now to, act to start the warping click on a point here and all this dark purple dot will appear then click go to the other picture and click on that and a lighter purple dot will, will appear now once this dot also looks like that it's now connected ready for warp and just keep doing that the more points you add the more professional it's gonna look and you can go from either way starting from the target to the moving or from the moving to the target either one works now I'm gonna skip ahead because this might take a while okay so we've finished almost all the points I have one point left oh no I made a mistake what do you do you go to this menu bar we saw earlier scroll down till you find the point you lost then right click on it and then press delete and that point will be removed. Now you can come back here, then come back and select the right place. And now I've finished it. So this, the next thing we need to do is first turn off landmark mode by pressing spacebar, and then press T to actually warp it. And the, the image is now warped. Now go to File, Export as Image Plus. You can leave all this the same, except under interpolation, put this as nearest neighbor. And then press OK. And our image is now exported. And this bar will tell us when it's done. The image, the warped image, is now loaded, so you can close out your big warp. Now, we're almost done. You go to File, Open and open your original image and it's gonna load now that our original mouse image is loaded put this somewhere where you can see the top number this number right here and be sh or if you want note that down now select this the moving image go to image scale and set it to the same number as our original image so for me that's 12,182 and if it's like a couple pixels off like nine's only like a pixel off it's fine just change the number set the interpolation to bicubic and then check the box that says fill with background color and then press OK and it's now going to resize our image now that our image is resized we're on the final step select this image our original mouse image go to image color split channels and it's going to make three images of the red green and blue channels now that that's done go select the other our moving final image go to image color but instead of split channels do merge channels and our three RGBs are here then in gray select our moving image final should be the longest name there Keep, remember to keep compo create composite and keep the source images otherwise it's going to delete them and we don't want to do that then press OK and voila our image is done it's now nicely warped and ready for academic use thank you for watching